Survival One of the key aspects of Minecraft, other than creative. A lot of people enjoy this game mode because it's the core mechanics and that's what it originally released with. But Minecraft isn't so realistic. With its mechanics kind of just being more like a block game, a lot of people are opting to go ahead and install mods to go ahead and shake up their Minecraft experience. Today, I'm going to be going over the top 5 mods that make your Minecraft Bedrock Edition more realistic. Watch the videos to the very end to figure out what they are. Hello YouTube, welcome back to the video, and today I'm going to be showcasing the top 5 Minecraft Bedrock Edition survival add-ons. These survival add-ons make your world a little bit more realistic or just add new features in general. In my personal opinion, these are probably some of the best out there, and these 5 are definitely some of the ones that you're going to definitely want to be on the lookout because they're always receiving updates. All of these are going to be available via my website, mcdlhub.com, and you guys can go ahead and download them via the links down in the description but anyways let's go ahead and jump right into it but if this video is helpful consider subscribing to the channel and post cases on like the video and comment to the nice head of the comment section we're trying to hit 50,000 subscribers before june let's go ahead and see if we can do it and it's currently may but anyways let's go ahead and jump right into this video Coming in at number 5, we have Item Physics. This is one of the coolest mods I have ever found on Bedrock Edition, especially because it works on all editions of Minecraft Bedrock. And I do want to state that all these mods are going to be working for Xbox, PS4, Windows 10, MCPE. Basically, if you have Bedrock Edition, these are going to be working for you. But the cool thing about this is that you can essentially drop items on the floor and they're basically there. So they're kind of turned into an entity and if you want to go ahead and pick them up, simply all you got to go ahead and do is hit on them. It's actually a little bit weird. So I'm actually, I think this one's a little bit glitched out. I'm not 100% sure. So apparently the netherite armor is a little bit glitched out, but if you go ahead and drop a sword, this is actually pretty easy. You go ahead and hit it, but this actually glitched out, which is super weird. The reason why this is at number 5 is it is a little bit glitchy, and it is kind of more of a concept and doesn't really improve your survival experience. But if you're looking for an item physics mod, then this is definitely the place to go. I'm guessing armor is just a little bit glitched out. Take a look at that. So right there, I got it back. So I'm guessing just netherite armor in general. So this is actually going to be adding everything from this menu right here, the equipment menu. So let's see, I'm going to go ahead and test out some pumpkin pie. Let's go ahead and drop it down, and it actually worked. I go ahead and hit it, and it comes back to me. So overall, a very nice mod if you guys are into this type of stuff. But I do want to state that it's not going to be working with any custom items. And I actually tried this with a custom item pack, and it actually glitched it out. So be very careful when using this with other add-ons. But anyways, let's go to jump into the number four spot. Before we jump into number 4, I can't stress this enough, but you need to go ahead and have experimental gameplay on. I usually turn on every single one just to be safe. But let's go to jump into the number 4 spot. Coming in, we have Dynamic Trees. It actually adds in a bunch of different trees that are actually exactly what it says, Dynamic. Let's go ahead and break this real quick. You gotta break the bottom, and it actually breaks like that. And as you can see, it actually gives us all the wood too. So it's actually a very nice mod. And you can find these trees essentially everywhere in every single biome. Dynamic Trees is actually a really nice mod. And I actually really got to thank the creators because I seen this on Java Edition. And I didn't expect anybody to go ahead and make it. But it actually came out. So take a look at this tree. We're actually on a cliff. So let's go and see if we can knock it in this direction. Oh. Okay, so it actually falls in random directions, so take a look at that. So this is not the only type of tree. Let me go ahead and find another one. But you get a bunch of wood from that one tree. One thing I do want to point out is in snow biomes, there's no custom trees. I think they really should go ahead and make an update for this. But hopefully in the future, we go ahead and get that. So to explain this mod in a little bit more detail, so I'm in the desert biome right now, and this is where palm trees are going to go ahead and spawn in. So let's go ahead and break this and take a look at that. That is so cool. And we just broke a palm tree. So that was actually pretty cool. So let's go ahead and place down some more trees. So right here is the dynamic birch tree. So this is actually a very nice one. I'm going to go ahead and break it. Take a look at that. It falls and we can go ahead and get the wood from it. Very nice stuff. So right here is the coconut. So when you go ahead and break these types of trees, you'll go ahead and get their coconuts, which is actually a very nice idea. 
And let's go ahead and spawn in the last one, which is going to be the dynamic oak tree. We already saw this. And the cool thing about this is they have different variants and how they can spawn in. As you can see, no two trees are going to be exactly the same. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump into the number three spots. I'm pretty sure you guys really want to go ahead and see that. Coming in at number three, we have item expansion. And this is definitely expansion to say the least. Take a look at all the custom items that it's going to be adding in. It definitely adds in a lot. If we go all the way down to the bottom, you can see that it definitely adds a lot. Right here is a jackhammer, so I'm very interested. This is actually just one shot of the sheep, so this is definitely a very interesting weapon. I'm not sure if it actually mines as well, but this is definitely very interesting. It's very powerful and definitely a nice weapon. Take a look at all the different swords they have. So this one is definitely a very nice sword. This is actually a money sword. So this is going to be giving you guys a bunch of different loot from mobs, I'm guessing. Right here is the heavy sword. So this should be making us a little bit slower. I'm guessing this only works in survival. They also have four different sets of armor. Take a look at all these different sets of armor. Definitely a very nice thing. And all this stuff is actually craftable via survival, which is always nice. So we're going to be taking a look at the fast weather cannon. This is definitely a very unique weapon. So let's go. <gasps> what? No way. No way. <laughs> Wait. No way. So it just gives it the weather effect. But that is so nice. That is crazy, guys. It actually is very powerful. So let's take out all these mobs right here. They are not ready. You only need to hit it one time. And they're basically done. But honestly, we need the explosive wither cannon. So let's hit it with that. Oh my goodness. What? This is crazy, guys. I keep missing that. That's not good. So apparently, the TNT is just kind of more of an effect. So let's go ahead and hit this. Let's get a little bit closer. And there we go. It is dead. I want to try the flamethrower next. Let's try the <gasps> What? No way. No way, this is crazy. All right, let me go ahead and use this one to go ahead. Oh, I just tamed it. What? I just tamed it. What the heck? Okay, so let me take this thing out. Wait, I just hopped on this thing too. What? Wow. Okay, that thing's gonna die because it didn't let me actually tame it. And dead. The last thing I do want to showcase is going to be the spore grenade. And I'm gonna go ahead and test it on a mob, which is going to be right here. Shout out to this chicken. Let's go ahead and place those down. <laughs> what okay so they actually have like a timer on them i'm guessing so let me just wait for that yep it does have a timer so i'm gonna place it, it actually gets hit by the projectile and it got away so let's go ahead and shoot it over there and it should die nope not yet and it's gonna go ahead and run away oh i got away come back here and nope okay i'm gonna shoot it ahead of time and something should die okay i'm gonna shoot it all the way over there come on <gasps> yes let's go okay so let's go ahead and jump into the number two spot Coming in for number two, we have Pixelmon for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. This by far is going to be the closest thing you can go ahead and get to Pokemon, essentially because it has Mega Evolution. Yes, you heard me right. This has Mega Evolutions. Take a look at this Squirtle. I'm going to show you guys something pretty cool. So in order to go ahead and catch Pokemon, you need to go ahead and make Pokeballs. You can go ahead and get Pokeballs essentially by picking these trees. Sometimes they have things on them, sometimes they don't. But let's go back to Squirtle, and I want to go ahead and capture him, and I'm going to go ahead and Mega Evolve him. So all you got to go ahead and do is click on it with a Pokeball, and as you can see, it actually tamed. But for wild Pokemon, what you have to do, and this is very important, it is going to take a few tries, so that's why you want to farm Pokeballs. But go ahead and keep shooting it at it, like this, like this, over, you will retain it. You'll get in this Pokeball. Okay, it's, uh, jeez, this catch rate, finally. That was almost 12 Pokeballs. That was crazy. Okay, so we just caught... Rattata, but this is our Pokemon right now. So the interesting thing about this is you can level up these Pokemon. So let's say I do want to showcase this feature. I'm going to keep hitting Squirtle real quick. I'm going to keep hitting him. And I can go ahead and revive him with a Pokeball. You're going to also find things around this in the map. Okay, I just got another potion. Good stuff. And if you guys want to evolve your Pokemon super fast, I recommend just getting some rare candies just like this. I believe you can get them in some type of trader, but I do want to showcase something. So after hitting 10 times, oh wow. Okay, so they just changed this. There's a sound for evolution. Whoa. So I just got a war turtle. That is actually very, very nice stuff. 
as you guys can see. So, but the only issue I have with this, since I'm a really big fan of Pokemon, is how this is actually set up because it does take 10 levels. Water so, turtle. in theory, if you got this from the Professor Oak, it would be at level 5. Then level 15 is just not the right level, and it's just a little bit weird. But if you want to evolve your Pokemon super fast, Water give your turtle. Pokemon a rare candy ball just like this. It's evolving again. Let's go, let's go. Oh my goodness. Okay. This is exciting. So just like that, we have a Blastoise, and it's actually very nice. But guess what? That is not it, guys. We can Mega Evolve Blastoise. So let's go ahead and do it. <gasps> And we have a Mega Evolved Blastoise. The only thing I don't like about this is it doesn't last for a long time. Another thing I do want to showcase, so you're going to see this transform back, which is actually very sad. So we just got a Pokey Ride, so take a look at this. I'm going to go ahead and put it on it once it actually transforms back. But I feel like it transforms a little bit too fast in my personal opinion. It definitely needs to be a little bit longer. So as you can see, it just transformed back. And now I can put the Pokey Ride on it and I can ride this Pokemon. Which is actually a very useful thing. So now I can go ahead and ride Blastoise. Last thing I do want to showcase is actually the evolution. So let's go ahead and capture Eevee real quick. And then let's go ahead and give it a water stone. So just like that, it evolves into Vaporeon. But it's going to be shiny Vaporeon. So actually, unfortunately, I believe that they messed up their evolutions and things like that. So it's not a shiny Vaporeon, but still cool nonetheless. Let's go to jump into the number one spot on our list. Coming in at number one, this is the hardest mod pack or whatever you want to call it ever. This is made by one person called Dirtman. This is Dungeon Craft 4.0. In 4.0, he actually added the hero update, which is just amazing. It has a bunch of different custom biomes. You don't even need to play with the custom biomes, which is actually very nice. So I'm thinking of actually not playing with custom biomes, and you can remove structures as well. But it does get very, very crazy. I would have to say this is definitely the biggest mod pack ever for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. It comes jam-packed with a ton of custom entities, structures, and just so many different things that you can go ahead and do on this. And I would strongly recommend this if you guys are big fans of very expansive mods. But this definitely gives a whole new look. And I do want to state that I was tinkering around with this pack. That's why it actually has the thirst bar. But it actually isn't a real feature. So you don't really need that. But the thirst bar, I do want to give a shout out to Made by Vatnage. It's a really nice pack. and makes the game super hard. It also adds another thing as well, which is going to be heating blocks, which is definitely a very nice thing. So it adds more realism to Minecraft. I'll go ahead and leave that link down in the description below. But anyways, that's going to pretty much wrap it up for today's video. There's one of the custom structures right there. And I'll see you guys next time on the next video for Shift Replay. Bye. Oh, yeah.